Taking some precautions, we've got a new girl coming. You'll be in with Floss. It's so Mike and I don't have to remember all your movements because we have a system. So let's say I'm looking for Bailey. Ah, oh, it's always me, man. And voila, he has told me that he's not in the house. Do we still have to ask permission to leave? Well, yeah, of course, Mo. This is just to help with communication. Communication? Well, that's a joke. Some new girl moves in and nicks my room, and I have to share with Floss. What? Do you want to show me? That's never going to work. Exactly. It's only for three days, just till she goes to more secure care home, that's all. Secure home? Yeah. <laughs> that's like a prison. No, it's got less kids and more staff. Awesome. What's she done? It's more about keeping her safe. She's not great at respecting curfews. So what, she stays out late? Yeah. Yeah, big deal. <laughs> and she got into a bad crowd, eh? I heard you on their phone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we are still going on our trip to see Lily, though, right? Yeah. Uh, her social worker has asked me to keep her on the premises, so she'll stop here with me. On your own? Yeah. Yeah, what if she's dangerous? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Hi. Come in. Sasha. Welcome to Ashdeen Ridge. Oi, your thing. Get my bag. <laughs> Meet the family. Cute. That's Harry. That's Bella. And that's Tony. If you think I'm going up there, you're off your head. Oi. Doesn't matter. Because it's our and our outboard. And you won't be going anywhere anyway. Shorty, show me my room. Find it yourself. Come on, Ben. It's my room, actually. So just follow me. Oh, Mo, it's for you. Great. Thanks. The neighbours said they'd be dropping off the key. Mainly up to all of us. Hold on, you're not even interested in uh, plants. Just like the weather cash I'm going to get as a thank you present. Boys! <sighs> Mr and Mrs Bagshaw trusted us with watering their plants. They never said anything about a payment. Yeah, but all that work. They'll give us something to show their appreciation. Us. Yeah. Brilliant. Then the three of you can work as a team. Right. Key and alarm code. And instructions. I trust you're not going to let me down. Uh, so, alarm panel to the right of the door. Look. Oh, here it is. Six. Nine. No, come on, can you get it any slower? I'm getting the hang of it. One. Right, it's off. Let's go. And there's a new lock on the door. What do you not know who I had done that for? Mike's a care worker, actually. And it's in case you tried to sneak out. They're all the same bunch of shadows. Only they're to stop us having a lot. Yeah, just keep your junk off my stuff. Who told you you're calling junk? Oi! I'm talking to you. Oi! <laughs> oh, nice shot. That's enough while you're in this house. You respect our rules. Don't tell me we've got to stick this for three days. Oh, a VHS player. Cool. <laughs> yeah, you like antiques. It's a Swiss cheese plant, it says it in the brackets. No, you can't tell me how to read it. That's against the rules. What rules? What are you doing? Um, what's it in this plant? <laughs> That's not a plant, you do. Lads, it's the bus. 
You're gonna wish you don't get red. Well, you are! <laughs> right, I've texted Lily to say that we're leaving. I can't wait to see how much Jonah's grown. Candy floss or cheesy chips? <laughs> yeah. I am so gonna win on the penny push machine. Hey, <laughs> uh, guys! Haven't you forgotten something? Uh, where's Ryan, Bailey and Mo? Next door, doing the plants. Why does it say they're in then? Does anybody listen? <laughs> Mike, we seem to have a stowaway in the back. Oh, Sasha, you know the deal. Back in the house, please. Come on. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Come on. Hey, guys. Guys, quiet down now. Now, no one can die. Your granddad? No, it's my dad. It's private. Yeah, so some respect to you. I want to see this. No, don't. Leave it alone, Ryan. Ryan! It's stuck. It won't come out. You've broken it. It's jammed. I can't get it out. Your video, your fault. Please help me fix it. I'll give you my share of the thank you present. What about me? Whoever meant it. Gets the whole reward themselves. Deal? Bring it on. I don't talk to social workers. Tough. Do you have any idea what you've done? The young people here have been looking forward to this trip for months. And now they won't be going anywhere. They claim on the insurance. Is that all you've got to say? Not even a sorry? Nope. Don't care. So you don't care if the police come round and they charge you with criminal damage? Is that the way that you want to start at your new care home? Not up to me, either. It's totally up to you. To take some responsibility, to appreciate the consequences of your actions. What's the point? I'm only here for three days. Well, while you're here, you're one of us. No, I'm not. Or you would have taken me to the seaside. You know, that was never going to happen. Why? Can you believe what everyone else says about me? No, not everyone. Just your social worker. Exactly. You never even gave me a chance. Do you want a chance? Too late now. You're going to call the cops. We don't have to. Yes, you do. And then a minibar. We could pay for the damage ourselves. Why would you do that? To make the other kids hate me even more. Why don't you try and make it up to them? Hmm? Even if it is just for three days, you're part of our family. Whether we like it or not. This is where the trust starts.
You said we'd report it. I said we'd give her a chance. You really think she deserves one? She's upset that she was left out. She feels we set her up to fail. Mike, don't do this. I don't see how getting the police involved is going to help Sasha. Well, it obviously hasn't before. Or she wouldn't have gone to school. You can't fight every kid's battle. Come in. I'm going to say sorry. And I never do that. Try the reset button. It's not the internet, Durbrain. The instruction book must be here somewhere. I just gotta get my tape out. Maybe it's the skulls. Be careful! You've made a mess! Guys, May Lee wants everyone in the kitchen. And you forgot to do the inner bod again. Hey, come on! Come on, come on, come on! Is everybody here? Hang on. Doors back from the bag shows. Ready? Ta da! It be you lot, because you can go to the seaside. Uh, we've already done the whole beach in the garden thing years ago. Yeah, and then we end up all getting a rash because it was builder sand. Come on, guys. This is Sasha's way of trying to say that she's sorry. And this is from the sand pit. It's got Harry's Lego in it. Fine. Whatever. Forget it. How would I know about beaches when I've never been to one? You've never been to the seaside? No, never. Whoa, it's okay. I've never been born before I came here. And uh, I've never seen a kidney bean. Why don't we make Sasha a bucket list? A what? A bucket list. Look, she has two days left before she gets locked up for ages. So that gives her time to fit with the things she's never done before. That's a brilliant idea, Tyler. No. No, 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 that's not a brilliant idea. Why should we do anything nice for her when she stopped me from seeing Lily? Yeah, and she nicked my room. Yes, and I've got to put up with you snoring every single night. I don't <laughs> snore. <laughs> I know. I bet she's never been a wrestling match before. Good idea. Oh, up with spaceship. Well, Sasha, what haven't you done? Never had any dumb part of me on a wall before. Say cheese. Cheese. Stephanie. You do know that I'm trying to read my magazine, right? Who are you making the cinema? Sasha's never seen a whole film without being kicked out. Mm. Oi. Don't need the code. I'll learn it. Let me guess, Sasha's never eaten a potato before. She's never had a Sunday roast. Yeah, Mike's bought three big chickens. <laughs> it's not Sunday. Fine, if you don't want to join in. Oh, that depends what's for dessert. Because if Sasha has never eaten a triple chocolate chip banana split, <gasps> then maybe I'll consider it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, has the photo printed yet? Nope. The printer's back. No ink detected. What? That's why there's no ink cartridges. What oh, idiot will chuck them away without getting new ones? It's your favourite. <laughs> the Disney. He always cries loads. Yeah, it's, it's hay fever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure it is. No, it is. Yeah, anyway, I'm, hey. uh -huh. I'm going to have to give it a miss anyway. I've got to nip down the shop and get some ice cream and some uh, printer ink. Instruction book. What are you doing now? I need to get this baby open if I want that reward. Do you even know the channel the screw driver to use? Yes! Get in there! Waste of time seeing if you can't read. Yes, I can! Hey, stop it! Just stop it! We've got to fix the VHS! 
I know what you're doing is fighting. Do you know what? I'm gonna get made leave. No, wait, we were only messing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, guys, make your way to the kitchen for the feast. Yes, <laughs> 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 we the end. Ah, oh, oh, that smells good, man. Uh, no, uh, uh. Oh, yeah, you can have that one. This is the ice cream. Bucket list item three. A special DG Sunday Rose triple chicken dinner. If you're waiting for the print link, Mike didn't get it. How come? He just said it to keep you quiet. I heard him merely talking. You can't have a photo. Because you're not one of us. I am. For three days. That's what Mike said. He didn't really mean it. He's only pretending to like you. Just like all of us here. Then why don't they bother to do the bucket list then? For the snacks, of course. If we're nice to you, we'll get a massive treat when you're gone. Listen carefully now, those things are hot, very hot. We got roasties, Yorkshires, and pigs in bucket. Not actual pigs. <laughs> Sit down then, for the best tea in the house. Come on, we made them. Oh, sorry, oh. sorry. <laughs> Right, everybody, just move back. <gasps> Kazima, water quickly. Oh, Millie, I have to talk to you. Is this you trying to prove yourself? Your call. You can stay in your room for the next two days. Sasha. Hey, Molly, it's Sasha. Sasha, you know. Look, I need a place to go for a few days. Hello? Hello? Sasha's still not back. It's just a little Ben. Why do I need an accident in her pot? Um, Maylee, can I have a word, please? It's quite important. Oh, with the back shores. How did you know? They called an hour ago. They got food poisoning on the ferry, so they're coming home. No joy from the police. Sasha's social worker's on her way around to her mum's now. Well, it's not your fault that she's in that case. Oh, come on. OK. Back to normal. Get on with your chores, yeah? yeah. Makes you wonder, though. Can we always make a difference? stuffed under the sofa. So, someone hid it on purpose? Yeah. I reckon because they didn't want Sasha to have a photo taken. That's sneaky. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I know she smashed the headlights on the minibus, but it's still really me. <laughs> Check out my photo skills. Cool. Oh, well done. Have you found the printing ink? Yeah, about that. Uh, later, OK? I've just got to go check the boys. I've left the bag shows out secure and tidy. Missing. Kill us if it's broken. Oh, come on. Do you feel bagels? No. Nope. You did this, you worm brains.
Okay, we've got 10 seconds to get out of here. But she's locked the door, Tom Brain. All right, mate, what's the alarm code? Don't you know it by heart? I can't remember. Back door, back door. Because the rule says that it's your turn. Ah, social worker called. Her mom's going to keep an eye out. She has no idea where else she might go. <sighs> OK, all right. Well, at least you tried. Missing. Have you seen this girl? Mo, just think. You're in a hall in front of the numbers. Your finger goes out and you tap it ever so gently. Six. For my first ever teacher's toes. What are you doing? What are you doing? I asked you first. Let me. It's nothing. The printing ink. Ugh. It was you that nicked that. So? Nobody wanted you to have a fall. They don't even care that you've gone. Then how come they did this then? Or is that for treat too? Lion's not nice. You're a nasty little stirrer. You're rude and ungrateful. You broke our minibus, you spilled all our food. You're the meanest, horriblest girl I've ever known. I'm not. You are. You don't even deserve a bucket list. You don't care about anyone but yourself. Get the key. In the car. In the kitchen. What's this? A poster. You can't be putting our young people's personal details up all over the street. Why not? Got it! Swiss paper with numbers on. Okay, go on, I've got the key. Don't panic. Right, you're gonna have to distract them. Why me? Because you chat rubbish for England. Okay. I'm bursting. Oh, what about my broken video? You know me? This is Mrs. Baxter. Um, no, don't get out. There's uh, something dead on your front of the car. Let me get it for you, okay? Oh, what a lovely lad. Can I have a screwdriver? How come you not to do that? We were waiting on an old video from the DVD, but I got pawned. Queued up tapes all the time. Why? I can't hold for much longer. I'm done. Uh, hurry up. Come on. It's your last night. Yeah, last night to freeze them. I'd rather be sleeping on the streets than be locked up. We won't tell if you make a run for it. I don't want to go on the run. And I don't want to go into the Fakir home either. So what do you want to do then? <laughs> yeah. I want to stay here. Oh, I don't know, Sasha. Look, you've got yourself into more trouble in three days than most kids would manage in a year. Hey, give her a chance. We already have. Oh, but she was set up. Someone hit the printing on purpose. And I'll probably all right, pain. I thought it all wrong, but I promise I'll be good now. We could give her a trial. Well, even if it means that you have to share with Jordy for longer. Yeah. 
We can't make any allowances. You have to stick to the same rules as everyone else, yeah? No lying. No stealing. And no leaving without permission. If you have a problem, then come to us. I swear, I won't let you down. Then I'll talk to your social worker. Find out if we can't put a hold on the secure home place for a week. Yeah? You've got a letter. <clears throat> to the helpful young men who looked after... Cash reward. Gee. A voucher for Junior Gardener Day. <laughs> <laughs> Bring packed lunch on wellies. Oh, wicked! Junior Gardener Day. I'm just throwing out the fun. Is that OK? That's absolutely fine. You ask for permission. said the nasty social work game again. No, look, it's not like the other time. I'm probably in care now. I have to stay here. Then I can stay too. I can't. You're me into trouble. That was quick. Um, yeah, changed my mind. Have you changed it on the photo board, though? You haven't done it. What? Don't tell me you're forgetting the rules already. No. Will you do it for me? Oh, well, seeing as how I'm here. But only this once. You have to come home. Me and Murphy need you. I live here now. I will if I don't blow it. But you've got to go. Mike. Jody! I need your help with Sasha. Well, only if I get my room back. I'm honest, don't worry. What do you want me to do? Simple. I just want you to make sure that she keeps to the rules, all right? That's Trevor Ted. Find your room! No, don't need that. You can't live here. You miss us too much. You've got Mum. And here's the thing. Better than the secure home. What's that? Well, I'll end up if you make me blow my weak Kyle. Jody, can you hurry Sasha up, please? What? So I'm a personal slave now? Oh, please, watch your tone. I'm busy. Guys! Guys! Something really weird just happened. Some guy just rocks up and starts chucking loads of old metal into our garden. <laughs> Are you sure you weren't hallucinating? <laughs> if he's on the wine, comes again, Tyler. <laughs> What's the joke? <laughs> I can be in care too. Then we can still be together. No, you couldn't. You're not naughty enough. Is that why they lock you in? They don't. I could smash my way in here and get you out. No. I think I might even trust me. Who are you talking to? Yes, Mattel. Whatever. Lunch is ready. So Mike says, come downstairs. Nah, no. When are you going to learn your right then you left? We've got to hear you out, Mia. What's up? The trampoline, of course. It's from the internet. It's free cycling. Hey, what? It's for people to give away the stuff they don't want. I know that. I've done it millions of times. No, you haven't. What is that tip of junk? It's our trampoline. <laughs> really? Because it looks like you've just saved someone a trip to the dump. So man said some <laughs> assembling would be required. Yes. <laughs> it's a surprise for Mike and May Lee and everyone. You won't be <laughs> laughing when you're begging for a girl. <laughs> So that gives me to you at the end of the street in five minutes. Can't you take me? I'm not allowed to just go out when I want. Oh, well, take this. That's all I've got. Later. Not later. Don't come here again.
Dexter. Who's Dexter? What? Talking to yourself again. It's a good thing I came to check on you. I think I can hear all day. It's doing me head in. I need to get out. OK. Garden. You reckon Mike may leave and let me go to the park? Oh, I doubt it. If you came with me, though. Oh, please, Jodie. I just want to hear from me hot, Ned. All right, we'll ask. One hour and not a minute longer. Oh, go on, Mike. Throw in ice cream, money. <sighs> you stick with Jodie, yeah? No gallivanting off on your own. Got you, Jodie. Totally in charge. Hello, Ashton Reg. An accident report? Yeah, it was uh, hot gravy. You want to do a health and safety inspection? Lovely. When's the next month? Oi, lazy. Park's only down the road. Here you go. I'll be back in an hour. What? You just lied to me and Mike. Sasha, he was dead nice to you and everything. Thank you. It's important. What's important is you sticking to the rules. I'm trying. That's why I go home and get something. Really bad stuff going to happen. What bad stuff? With my dumb kid brother. And I've got 55 minutes left now. Well, I told Mike that we'd stick together. And I don't go back on my word. So we'll get the bus. Oh, hey, 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 hey. I've got to slip on the grass, girls. Oh. Easy, easy, easy. Wait there, wait there. Do you know what's going on? Bye bye! It's our new trampoline. Mine and Billy's. New, second on. Only a tiny bit broken. OK, kids, uh, just uh, step off the trampoline now, please. Come on, off you come. What? It's, look at the rust. It's lethal. Come off. Yeah, sorry, kids, it might look safe to you, but we just can't risk it. Come on now. You can have Plus, the first. Get off. Bounce. As just you think. test it. One second. Oh, Two. Mike, please. Oh, no. No one is bouncing <gasps> at all, right? I know you meant well, but this is going straight to a scrapyard. I don't want you lot going anywhere near it, all right? And that includes you two, Floss Guppy. I don't want you to even touch the tape. Do you understand? Do you understand or not? Yes. yes. Good. Thank you for answering me. Right. I'm going to go and call the scrap metal man now. It's time to leave the garden, please. Come on. It's here. Cool. Just like my old place. Where is it? What? You know what? I need my key back. Your room key? How did you get that? When I visited. Visited? When? It doesn't matter. Come on, we're going to be late. Let's go. Your mum is here, though. Right? Yeah, of course she is. She's sleeping. You have to work night sometimes. So who looks after your brothers when she's gone? Sasha did, until she got taken. Yeah, and there's no who work and then mum would cope better without me. Thought Murphy out, you stink. I can't find any nappies. Look harder, then. I don't like it without you. Come on, you're a big boy now. You're in charge. Come on. So... How come your social worker thought your mum would be better off without you? Because I was given her grief. So sort of grief? Late night all night. They reckon she didn't set me proper boundaries. So, who looked after your brothers then? I only went out when my mum was home. I wouldn't leave them on their own. And you showed me with two kids all day. I needed to chill with my mate. Mate to keep you out all night? The older one. Boy than that. The social worker thought they were using me, but they weren't. It's not your fault your mum doesn't know how to look after kids. What? I'm just saying, my mum was the same. I ran away once. Back to the dumping ground. She didn't notice I was missing either. This still wasn't missing. This is just why I didn't tell you. Could you go throwing it to Mike? I won't. I'm just saying I understand. You don't understand the thing. There's nothing wrong with my mum. Do you fancy coming shopping? Yeah, I will. Jump in. I think I better get back. Miss Chief! Oh, oh. 
Mike said you wouldn't let across the tape. And now the tape's over there with Misty. Then Harry, come on, we're going on trampoline. Only sitting, no bouncing. Definitely no bouncing. <laughs> Go to the hospital. Uh, he can't, or Mike will know that we crossed the danger tape. Can I get some chocolate? Okay. And some sweets? Uh, just one thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. You okay, Sasha? Yeah, yeah. Nothing for the ice cream. I'm so sorry. We will we will help pick everything up. She pushed it. I saw her. What do you think you're doing? You want to get arrested? I don't feel worth money, hey? I'm not paying you away for months. Split up your own money. I couldn't find any money. Sasha, come on, let's pay for this lot and go home, yeah? yeah. I'll get the stupid nothing. Thanks, Nathna. Thanks very much. Hannah? Yeah, I'm skint. Oh, you haven't got a spare penna, have you? Is that to go towards all the food you wasted? Or the minibus? Nothing. Nothing. Well, then, what's that behind your back? It's better to come clean now, because, you know, I'm going to find out eventually. Just a first aid kit. Just a first aid kit. For Finn. For Finn? Yeah, he's got a teeny, tiny, incy-wincy little graze on his leg. Where is he? In his bedroom. Yes. You're so gifted. It wasn't for you. I'm trying to be your mate. You're only looking out for me so you can get your room back. I heard you were Mike. It's not the reason why, though. Get it lost. I don't need anyone's help. If you get caught, you're going straight to secure. Show me that. Sasha? Sasha? I'm taking this injection. Guys, you do not get this badly injured and not tell me and Mei Lee, please. 
You've really let me down. I just thought it would be a good idea to cheer everyone up after the minibus got broken. Oh, OK. And we thought the trampoline would be a nice surprise. And if it hadn't been a death trap, it would have been. I would go out tomorrow to a shop and buy you one. But we just don't have the money to spare. Did you lock Sasha in a room? No. I did tell her to take some time out, though. We've got a spare key, right? Why? She locked herself in? Well, either that or she's gone walkabout again. It's on the desk. Yeah, what? No, I haven't got them yet. Sasha? Jodie's gone too. Just saying. The photo says she's in. What's the point of my system? There isn't one. It's obviously not working. But don't take it out of me just because you made the wrong call about Sasha. We don't know that for sure. Kazima said she trashed the shop display on purpose. No. No provocation at all. She's failed the trial then? We have to accept this might not be the best place for her. Not my trampolines. They're brand new ones. The sports mega stores running a contest. You win by showing other worthiest calls. What's worthiest? We are. We are a kids' home. There's loads of kids' homes. You have to have something to make you stand out. I know. We pretend that Billy's an amazing trampolina. Why me? Yeah. Because you were training for the Olympics. But her parents died in a terrible shark attack and she couldn't carry on with the training because she was dumped in the kids' home. That's awful. It's brilliant, more. The Olympics, though, that means Billy's going to have to be seriously good. It's just a vacation. She won't actually have to prove it, Dumbo. Oh. <laughs> Murphy. Mum? Mum, wake up! Mum! Where are you? Where's Bethna and Mum? She's gone AWOL, I'm afraid. Yeah, I know. Hello, what's your image? No, this is Miss Wang. Get the police. Tell the safety. What? what? You got a cancellation today? Uh, sorry, it's really not convenient at the moment. Uh, again, I know, but but she's she's been making real progress since then. You know what I mean? You'd like to come on a normal day? No, no. Finally, I just want to sleep. I thought you'd show up. That social worker just called to say you'd done another bunk. I won't tell her. Don't worry. Mum, is it really horrible? Do you hate it? No, that's not why I'm here. Where have you been? Just nip to the shop to get these. You left Murphy on his own. Oh, don't start stressing, babes. You know he's fine in front of the telly. He's been in a nerdy nappy all day. Says who? Caught net the help left him to get them. Daft little monkey. I had the cash. You were asleep. You didn't know where to find it. It's not like we haven't had to knit stuff before. Yeah, all right. I don't miss your flipping nagging. You know where he is. Have you got a clue? I'm trying to keep on top of things, OK? It's not easy now. You've deserted us. I can't take it the care. Stupid social workers. They don't think how I'm supposed to manage without my main girl. You're only easy as a babysitter. When I wouldn't mind in the kids, you'll never bother where I was. That's not true. You need to look after them, Mum. Pets too young to be on his own. Anything can happen. I'm here, aren't I? I've taken the night off work so we can have a pizza party. Yay! Only I'm skint after them nappies. I haven't got any money. I can't bail you out anymore. I've got my own problem. Hi, is that Rusty Rogers Scrapyard? Um, hello, it's uh, Michael Milligan here. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I, I keep calling, but that's me. My sister, please. Who's your sister? You got for mum. I'm going now. Work just phoned. They can't manage five minutes without me. What? Well, you can stop here with Murphy, Bob, till Dexter comes back. No, I can't. I'm not even supposed to be here. Oh, you're just visiting your family, babe. That's not a crime. It is. But he breaks in the rules, then I'll fail my week's trial. Which trial? So I don't have to go to the secure home. Please, Mum, you've got to stay. 
couple of hours, Tops. I'm trying to get one of my mates to come now. So where is she? No, she's not here. I'll call her social worker and get somebody to come and pick you up. Is that okay? You can't wait for her. She could be I ages. Know, what do you mean? And your mum. She's going to be worrying about where you are. You've got J.T. Jackson. What? What? Is she okay? Shoplifting. <laughs> she didn't want him to know. But he just gave him a contact number. Is she okay? What are the saying she's taken? Nappies. What? Why would you take nappies? Jackson! Oh. She was saying that coming. Well, I'll keep an eye out on my way. Okay. I just hope you can persuade the manager not to press charges. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Hello, Sasha. It's Mike. We just had your brother around looking for you. Oh, he didn't stay long. Sorry. Listen, we're all a bit worried about you. Come on, man. Who were you stealing the nappies for? Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Bye. It was the contest people. They saw our application come in and they love it. It was mainly my idea. Have you won a trampoline? Not yet. They're sending an assessor around today and we're going to go to the leisure centre and watch Billy do some of her Olympic moves. What? No, you promised. Don't worry, just do a bit bouncing around. You want us to win, don't you? Come on back. Come on. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's the tenth trap gone. Oi, what are you looking at? Do you live with my sister? Who's your sister? Sasha. You on trial too? I've been here for years. Longer than just about anyone. You must have been really naughty then. Look, it's the trampoline assessor. Do it or you're a big fat baby and I'll never forgive you. Hello, what do we do now? Look, man, you can't come in unless you live here. Fire alarm is uh, wired to its own dedicated circuit on an RCD as per the regs. Thank you so much for coming. Oh. This is Billy. Boy Billy. He's had a fatal accident, unfortunately, so he can't do any bouncing. He chipped over our massive hairy dog and fell all the way down the stairs. <laughs> Kids, uh, let me introduce the uh, health and safety inspector. It's good to meet you all. But when you say fell, can you just explain what happened? Well, hello. Is this the right place for Billy? Excuse me? I've come to assess her skills. I used to coach English well myself. Did you? It was some years ago, mind, but I can still recognise talent when I see it. Well, Billy's not exactly here. Oh. She was eaten by sharks. <laughs> she wasn't. Um, so what is it you're assessing Billy for? I'm helping judge a trampoline competition. I can't wait to see a buster moves. <laughs> Dancing. Dexter, what's Dexter? My car! This vandal is one of yours! He's not a vandal. Whatever he did, he didn't mean it. Yes, I did. I'm the baddest of all. So you have to take me into care. Sorry about the misunderstanding. Uh, care kids can be uh, a bit imaginative. <laughs> no problem. Just remember, you don't need expensive equipment. It's how you use what you've got. You don't need to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming. <clears throat> I always knew the trampoline was a stupid idea. Oh, no, but Mike really is a, a brilliant care worker. Yeah, he always keeps us safe and healthy. 
If we do push our teeth, they get really mad. Knock it on the head, kids. I'm sure the inspector just wants to inspect our own. Not at all. It's very informative. Yeah. Just what I need for my report. This is the kitchen. Lead on, boys. See? Don't worry. It's, it's going really well. Is it? Yeah. The only thing she's got a problem with so far is this. What? The photo board? Mm-hmm. Why? Well, apparently, it's unreliable and open to abuse. Yeah, tell me, man. Cody, really, I'm really sorry. Yeah, well, I've been barred from a shop before. And Maylie thinks I've gone mad for silly nappies. I'll tell it with me. I'll tell her everything. But your mum being useless. I should have known they'd never cope without me. I tried to keep it to the rule, but then Dexter gets into trouble, and that's not fair on him. It's much better if I go. Go? Well, Mike's going to cut me out anyway. No. You can't give up now. This is about you. Not your brothers. You wouldn't understand. Can you stop saying that? Because I do. I hate leaving my brother. I only get to see him at contact. I made it worse. That's what I'm saying. They've got to forget me. Sasha! Bailey's room is way cool. There's way better toys than a home. Look after him for me. I'm going to pick her. Mike. Sasha reckons she's gonna go. Home? She knows she can't. No, finish. no, we've been there already. Because of deck stop. That's why I had to knit the nappies. Oh. Now she doesn't even care if she's sent to secure. Thanks, Julie. Come here. Look, I'm sorry for being so horrible. But it's okay. Because Mike's gonna look after you now. And Murphy's never gonna run out of nappies again. Oh, Dexter. Why don't you go and see if uh, Bailey wants to play football, huh? Your social worker is with your mum now. They already know there's been problems. I've always been there for help. Yeah, I get that now. But it's not your job to look after the boys. Your mother has been asking too much of you, treating you like you're a grown-up when you're not. She does love them, though. She doesn't mean to be bad. And the social workers are going to help her to be better. They're going to put in place a support package, and if she cooperates, she'll get her chance. So they won't be going into care? Not for now, no. Come on, get your bag. I'm going to put you in with tea. You two should get along. But I broke all your rules. I, I got Yodi arrested. Yeah, you sure did. But only because you were trying to be a good big sister. Does that mean I'm not on trial anymore? How's about two months probation? You do well, you stay. But we have to trust each other. We're your family now, too. Deal? Come on. Which bring your kebabs? With banana and cheese balls. It's my speciality. <laughs> Who did this? Uh, you only help. That's an improvement on you, Bailey. <laughs> Mike? Yeah? Coach just come through for the minibus headlights. Sasha did a pretty good demolition job. I'm really sorry. I'll pay for it out my allowance. Every penny. That is if you pass probation. Oi, think positive, why don't you? Or we could use this. Whoa! Whoa. Oh. Rusty Roger! A lot. It is loads. Here for the trampoline. The trampoline and loads of other scrap metal from around the house. This is for Sasha. Hey, the bus. <laughs> Does that mean we did a good thing? Kind of. This isn't mine. It's the you lot. But you are off a lot now. Yeah. Just hit us more dinners. <laughs> Fish finger and cheese balls. It's genius. What did I think of that? <laughs> <laughs> run a marathon in the new Blue Peter Sport Relief game, Geo's Gym. You've got to collect coins and jump obstacles all whilst running as fast as you can. 
So head over to the CBBC site for some entertaining electronic exercise now. This is Diddy TV! A brand new Diddy Size channel with all your favourites. These or no bees. Looks like I'll need my Sonic toothbrush. So, did you like that one? No! Yeah, no, I, I don't know where they're getting them from either. Now's not the best time to talk, Mother! It's amazing you're still watching. Brand new Diddy TV weekdays at 7.45 on CBBC. Hello and welcome to the new look CBBC book club. Check it out. We have had a makeover just like the rest of CBBC. I think you'll agree. It looks pretty cool. I mean, check out our book selfie wall. How awesome is that? If you want to see your face up there, then you can do. All you need to do is send us your book selfie, a picture of you with your favourite book or the book you're reading at the moment. In fact, maybe you're up there already. Have a look. Can you spot yourself? Now, at the moment, this month, we're reading, thank you, <laughs> this book, great catch, My Roll Doll, it's George's Marvelous Medicine. We're reading this because we've got Operation Ouch on CBBC at the moment, which is a great show and all about medicine, of course, so why not read this? It's a classic book and loads of you have been loving it already, including Diamond Kite Mango, who says, I feel sorry for the grandma. Do you know what? I do too. I always felt sorry for the grandma. She must have been really surprised, but the book makes it seem really funny. I was laughing almost all the way through. That's good to hear. Red Violet Volcanic elephant says great book there's a great storyline and it's very funny in capital letters i would recommend this book to anyone indigo quick shark says i love it and i've read it since i was five and just can't get enough of it amethyst super wallaby says i read george's marvelous medicine at six years old and i've loved it ever since you guys are super fans and crimson trombone gadget says i don't just like it i love it because of four reasons it's funny it's not extremely bad it's extremely good and it's really entertaining for all i love that it's not extremely bad that's always a good start uh, if you want to get hold of a copy at your local library of George's Marvelous Medicine by Roald Dahl, please do. And uh, please tell us what you think of it. You've also been sending us your book selfies. This one's been sent in by Ruby. And Ruby's reading another book by Roald Dahl. It's Matilda, one of my favourite books of all time. And I've got to say...